In this video, we will talk about fitting our data and as we look at the plot of our data, it is almost a Gaussian plot, like a peak plot. So we will have to fit our data. Let's select the data and go to analysis and then fitting and then go to non-linear fit because now our fitting will be a non-linear one is it's a Gaussian fit. So a dialog box will open and here in this dialog box we are having so many parameters and the very first one that we are having the category of fitting functions and there are some functions which we call the origin basic functions. We can have some other categories in this one including the user defined as well we can make our category of fitting that is possible inside the origin basic functions we are having these functions and the function which will fit our data is a Gaussian fit and the Gaussian amplitude fit if I select a Gaussian fit then I can see that it has previewed the fit like this one and here I can have some additional parameters like the iteration algorithm. There are two uh, options here, but I will select the default one. And this file is actually there in origin, means the fitting document, the fitting parameters are already defined here. I can understand some of the functions here, like the residual this is giving the residual this is giving the formula of the fitting so y equals y naught y naught is actually the opposite plus a a being the amplitude w the width and then we are having x variable xc is the center on the x axis and so on so in order to see all these in pretty more details then we can come here and here we will understand that what actually these parameters mean so the formula is given in this form and here we are having the xc means the center of this curve on the x-axis and here this point will be actually the center on the x-axis as well as y-axis w here is if i consider the first standard deviation from the center point then it will be plus sigma and minus sigma and this width is actually given by w it is different from the full width at half maximum because full width and half maximum is come is approximately uh, is relatively more than this one so all these parameters can be understood here the message dialog box will give us the uh, fitting initialization parameters and so on here we can search a function here we can edit the function and here we can create a new function so we will not change these parameters this one gives one iteration and this one gives the iteration until the fit is converged and once we are done with it then we will click fit and the parameters will appear there are some values here as well which i will discuss in the coming videos that what is code what is parameter and what are the bounds we can do so as we go on further in the fittings we will go to these parameters as well the very first one the easy one is that i go to the um, settings here and then the gaussian fit is here i can see that the gaussian m fit is here so if i do it with the gaussian m then i can see that uh, the formula for this one the division or the denominator here the values which we were having is we were having in the Gauss fit they are not there while the Gaussian amp we don't have those values and it's a very simple expression 
so we will use this one because it seems more appropriate so what we will do we will start with the first iteration of this and the first iteration has given this and now we see that it is no more improving we can do like this that i go to gauss and then i do one iteration another iteration another iteration and then i click this one to iterate further there is not much difference between the two but the gaussian amp is is actually a gaussian fitting equation is slightly different and we click fit until converge and then it has giving the fit like this and we say okay and as we click okay then this these two sheets appear here and this one is the fitting details and we can see here that the adjusted r square value is 0.99 so it means it's a very good fit and here some parameters we can calculate from here for example if i want to calculate the full width at half maximum of my plot then i will have to just gaussian fit this one and here it gives me the full width at half maximum if i want to find out the value or the width of the standard deviation then it can give me this thing and the center value here and so on this table is actually summarizing all those parameters which are discussed over here so i will have to get rid of this table because i am having already on the parameters there here instead of writing this in a very detailed way i can change here only to gaussian fit so only gaussian fit is there here i remove all the other uh, description so this is a gaussian fit i can now do a little bit makeup to my plot by clicking the fit here i can go to increase the size and it is here similarly i can change the scale a little bit in order to show it in a good way if i look here this value is around 355 so i will go to 355 and here the value 400 is fine the value here is if i start from around 6 or 7 then this is reasonable another way to do this thing is to um, select from here the zoom and then just encapsulate the region which we want to fit and i will go from here and i will select this thing is instead of 350 i select 355 and then in 400 and on i can uh, do apply this one in order to see the effect yes this is fine and then on the vertical axis starting from 2.5 and i started from 6 and then i can see that i have an input plot here i can change a little bit the width of uh, these for example i select is this one is 15 and i change the edge thickness to 30 and okay so now it is the gaussian fit of all data thank you